It also takes a verbal It's my job. Thank you for that. You do your job goodly. This study has, you know, absolutely surprised me. I thought it's going to be just a, right? And Kay, how brilliant she is. How is he to teach? Gifted and Holy Spirit power. Yeah, to ask certain questions. I'm like, yes. I don't know. I never thought about it like that. Yes, about trauma gifts. I love And God has blessed us with the future of all my goodness. Thank you. Right. I don't have an apple today, though. Well, have. <laughs> Kiss up. <laughs> you took yellows. Okay, so let's open up in prayer. I know uh, two more people, three more people, actually, that are coming. So, Father, we just thank you so much for your word. Thank you for the timing of it. Thank you for the application. Thank you for your hand in our life. And we can just see it if we just sit down and, and look. I pray that we would look every day, we would wake up looking for things that you're doing in our lives. And then pray, Father, and ask you what it is that you want us to do in this time mm. that you have set us in this period of history and how we are to further your kingdom yes. and be your servants. I pray, Father, now that as we glean from one another and from our study in your word, that you would show us yourself in this book. In your precious name we pray, amen. Amen. So what are you thinking about the book of Esther so far? Because you don't know the end of the story. I, mean, I know you know the end of the story, but you don't know the end of the story. I'm on the edge of my seat. You're on the edge of your seat, right? The Jews are about to be annihilated, and now a wicked Haman is dead, so that's good. But what, what about the edict? But we don't know any of that yet, so can't discuss 8 and 10. Yeah, it's Haman still there. Not he, he did not. Hanging Haman did not resolve the problem. No. It took evil Haman off the planet. That was it. But the edict is still, still there. It well, also it. caused more confusion. Oh my goodness. He's the number two in command, and Mordecai's being honored. What is going on here? And they all know he's a, a Jew. A Jew. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the city of Susa is in confusion. The king yeah, is crazy. <laughs> yeah. The Jews are going, wait a minute, Mordecai is riding around. Does that mean good for us? Right. Did the edict change? But no, the edict can't be changed. We know that. Yeah, so right. That's what the and everybody said. can see him up because he's high up in the air. Yeah. Social and media just is not blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Social media is <just> blowing up. <laughs> So, so were, if you were in Susa, would you be in confusion? Whether you were a Jew or whether you were yes. a person. Absolutely. I wouldn't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, because yeah. even people know that the es Esther is a Jew. The Jews. Some people may Jew. know that Esther is a Jew because she grew up with Well, that's true. Because she grew up with Maybe they're starting to guy. put some things together yeah. here. Right. The Jewish but community still, would know. Know. Yes. The Jewish community would know, but not necessarily right. the non-Jewish community. Sorry, that's what I had. Because she grew up in that area. Because I don't think the palace itself no. knew no. until she told the king. No. Yeah, that's just a bad opinion. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think too. That was a jaw dropper for the king when she yeah. said that. Yeah, you've got to you know what? That it was, it was a go. peculiar people. He didn't even know it was a certain people. He didn't right. know it was the Jews that he that was could have been condemning the most. And until just, she said it. So. Exactly, I was going to say, I don't, okay, you're a Jew, now what? Mm -hmm. To me, the light bulb still didn't totally go off for him because he hung Haman as a, because Haman is so Esther, not the only because Haman I think, wanted to kill all the Jews. The only reason I think it clicked in is because she used three words right out of the edict. Yes. To kill, uh, destroy, destroy, and annihilate. And I, he knew that was in the edict. Oh, yeah, I so agree. I was like, but that was when the light bulb, I think, clicked but when on. But Haman, it, I don't think it was because Haman had tricked him into issuing the edict. No, it was exactly. because he had insulted Esther. Right. That's exactly right. Okay. That's what I, that's my opinion. Okay, well chapter one, we always we have to review, you know. Of course. Um, so we have to always keep ourselves in historical timeline. Right. So tell me, and again, you're supposed to find God in that chapter. So we're gonna do that as you did at the last fourth, fifth, fourth and fifth day. We're gonna plug it in in each chapter as we go along, okay? So, mm -hmm. In chapter one, where do you see God? We, we all know in history, it's the third year thing Ahasuerus is written. Mm -hmm. That's what we know. Um, what else happened in chapter one? That's pretty important. 
Queen Vashti was done away with. And, Good, well, I don't yeah. think she was killed. No, uh -uh. no but no, just, the just dethroned. She right. Go and the the right. God's overall. Right. So he's sovereign. Yep. So he's got all this in his mm -hmm. little Working. finger, Working big together. finger tips. Mm -hmm. Right. It's right. all about watching behavior. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And even though you don't understand why they did it, she said, I'm not going in. Right. And I don't know why. She and just wasn't going to do it. why did the king even react the way he did? Right. We don't know. But the behavior says something. Right. Advice given him. Oh, and insulted She's been thrown him. And, well, this yeah. is what's going to happen to all the women right. if we let her. Mm -hmm. And so, I get it. Uh, yeah. But remember, he displays his too. riches and splendor. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we find somebody else who does that in mm -hmm. chapter seven, I think it is. Okay, yeah. so where do you see God? Now you All don't necessarily have to plug in a verse. If a verse comes to mind, that's awesome. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Where do you see God in chapter one? I, I saw him all throughout. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> yeah. Right, because you're looking for him. Well, that we was, know he's there. We know he's I mean, there. Just like, where's God in our in situation now? But he's, he's still there. We do. We do. You wouldn't even, you, if she wouldn't say that God is not mentioned, I wouldn't. Wouldn't have even noticed. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 you see him everywhere. Because you just yeah. know his hand is in. Good. Yeah. Good. But you know, for a beginner Bible study, yeah. er, mm -hmm. yeah. they might not. That's right. That's right. Which is why it's written the way it is. Mary? Yeah. <clears throat> if you go back and think about it, when Nebuchadnezzar came in and took out oh, well. Judah. Who was it? Who, who became his chief advisor? Tuck it, tuck it. Daniel. Dan Daniel. Who was Cyrus's advisor? Dan Daniel. Daniel. I'm not sure who Darius's advisor was, but who's going to? But now God, you see, God has got His people involved in exactly. leadership throughout this, or to influence. To influence, mm -hmm. some way, somehow, God's people is involved. So this is why I put Daniel 2.21 in there, because it says God sets up kings and he takes them down. And so that way he's prepared the way for Mordecai and Esther. Same in our day. God sets up kings and he takes them down. We look at, you know, we had President Obama, now we have President yes. Trump. We could have had um, Clinton, Clinton. Uh, Hillary Clinton yeah. as our president, but God decided we're going to have Trump. Yes, we have to do our part. We have to vote. That is our citizen, God-given right and privilege to live in America. But God determines the outcome. Doug? I, I looked at the side where uh, Mordecai remembered the covenant God made with his people. Exactly. And uh, that's kind of what I thought. He remembered that. He knew God was going to be there. What faith? Yeah. What, what, what faith in his God? Uh, in chapter 2, we've covered four years. We're already in the seventh year of King Ahasuerus. Okay? Um, what else happens in chapter 2? <coughs> it's really important that you see Esther's heritage. <clears throat> what do you find out about it? Well, we know she's a Jew. We know she's a Jew. We know she's being raised by her cousin because her parents have died. Um, we do actually know what tribe yes. they're from. Benjamin, Benjamin right. right? And then we know that um, she has been raised apparently as a good Jew. Yeah, yeah. Very, because Mordecai's a good Jew. Right, and very respectful mm. of the Jews' laws and She's quite a reputation. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so then, as the beautiful young virgins are collected, <clears throat> And we know that even her description of face and form yeah. from the very beginning, yeah. they set you up to know this is exceptional. This is an exceptional woman here. And she just happens to be in Susa. Yeah. Right. Yes. And, and, one, of and one of the ones to be. <laughs> and one of the ones taken. So. Just tap. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's kind of leading into God. Okay. Um, I love this verse because it said in Proverbs 65 or 68. Mm -hmm. He is a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. But if you go just a little bit more, it said God sets the lonely in families. Mm -hmm. oh. That was precious. Mm -hmm. That was just precious because there are so many lonely people 
during this COVID-19 thing, mm -hmm. and we as people in the neighborhood kind of adopt those single people as our family. Hey, you okay? I got two right across the street from me. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Bringing in a little baked gift, goods, you know, you're still doing okay, your family okay? You know, do you need anything? Are you being safe? Or anything, just reaching out like that lets them know they're not really alone. They may be alone in their house, but they're not alone in the community. And it just, it just made a big impression on me that he, was, he sets the lonely in families. And thought, wow. Jenny, is that Proverbs 68? There's no Proverbs 68. Oh, no. There's Proverbs 32. That's as far as it goes. Yeah, that's right. Great. Yeah. Just great. <laughs> One and I don't day. care that you made a mistake. No, Honey, you're I need human, to know but that. But if somebody it else looks it up. Put the verse in your phone. Oh, yes. It'll Please come do up. that, and then I can correct that before one posts it on the website. Oh. That's a little important. Um, I did. I did. I wrote 68. Maybe it's Psalm 68. Look up Psalm 68. That, that's it, because I have PS, so it must be Psalm 68. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. That's it. I just did her wrong. So, sorry, guys. Oh, hey, you're human, dear. Thank you. But thank <laughs> oh, you for, yeah, thanks yeah, for yeah, checking yeah, me yeah, out yeah. on that. Is just it? My image of I, I know. Oh, oh, I, I just think that back what I said in the book. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Psalms. Thank you. Okay, I will fix that. The Psalms? Yes. It's Psalms. Yes. <laughs> Woo. All right, Esther was made queen. On, Is that important? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do you see God in that? Yes. yes. Totally. Yep. Wow. And we think, oh, well, that's really nice for Esther because we don't know the rest of the story when we're in chapter 2. We don't know what prominent place she's going to take for her whole nation. But we think, oh, how could God to elevate her all the way to, to queen? Okay. Then, for some reason, he puts in the very end, Mordecai's name's written down because he did a great thing for the king and it's in the box. Well, that's nice that it was written down. But the Persians wrote everything down. So that was awesome. Way to go, Mordecai. Was anything done for him? No. No. But it's written down. But it's written down. And God would so, need to be written down. He just so happens <laughs> to walk by <laughs> and hear it. Right? Right? And this is the fourth year. I mean, God's this is the, so he hung out at the gate. Seventh year of his reign. Mm -hmm. Yes, seventh year of his reign. And then he happened to have insomnia. And have it, yeah. right? <laughs> right? How many years later? Five? Right. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. right. Yeah. He just and why read yes. there? Can't sleep. And, and why read that article? Let me practice. report you five years later for something you did. <laughs> it reminded me I'll not to get so mad when things don't work out the way I want. Oh, like, oh, you know, that time. I kind of at least thought, you know, hey, I just uncovered this and nothing happened to me here. Right, right. I saved your life. But again, why would the king happen to read that? Then five years later, okay. Also, Why is he sleepless that out night? Of Twelve years yes, exactly. of this. Right? Also, so far, Esther, right? made, <laughs> Esther made sure that she pointed out that it, was it was Mordecai. Gave him credit, yes. right? Yes. Okay. In chapter three, it's the twelfth year of Ahasuerus's reign. Why do you think God keeps giving us certain <laughs> timing? It's important to him. It's important to him. Time is important to him, though time doesn't really exist in right. his realm, but it's important to him. Yeah, it's important for, for, for us to understand he wants things. Us to, yeah, no. And he mm -hmm. knows how important time will be for us. And it is, does really help to know that um, things just don't happen. Mm -hmm. I think it's right. more for us. So that that know, for us. Is yeah. that we know that you know when things take five years to happen, <laughs> that God's still in control. He's still in control. And, and we have to working. know the times. I love that sentence. Oh, there. Right? Spoke they knew the, the times. They knew the times. Yeah. Yeah. So Haman plots to destroy the Jews in chapter 3. Okay. Yes. Um, we know he's been around them because Mimicon and Haman are the same people. So we know he's been there. So why now does he plot? I, because he <laughs> hates and it, Mordecai. It, it hates Mordecai because and he doesn't want to just kill him. He wants to kill his old people. Well, because he was promoted in chapter <clears throat> three too. Yeah. As, yes. yes. Um, he he promoted. Also, so oh, so now he has the ability to. Right. right. Yeah. Well, he's, also, yeah. he's also kind of full of himself. Oh uh, yeah. Very. Kind of yeah. Kind of overflowing with it. 
And yeah. like this is what Doug was talking about. <laughs> this is where the covenant, the Abrahamic covenant yeah. comes in that Forever. Mordecai is totally mm -hmm. sold, believed, yeah. committed Practicing, to. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he can't lie. God can't lie. So if God said you're going to be here forever and you're going to be a nation forever, then we're going to be a nation forever. So, you know, Esther, if you don't step up, then somebody's going to step up because God can't lie and he keeps his commitment. Well, remember, Haman knows his history. He knows what the Jews have done to his people. Obviously, his wife does, too. Yeah. Right? Well, a woman. But well, her a... prediction. Okay. Well, you might wait till we get there. But when we get there at the end, we need to talk about his wife and his friends. Exactly. <laughs> yes, we do. And we will. Are we consider okay. what Mordecai's position is? What is the king's court? And why is he out there on a daily basis? Right. So. Well, remember, he's in the king's gate. So yeah. people that are in the king's gate are obviously people that are in leadership in yep. the city. In the, in the city, Seuss. right. So okay. he's, got, he's got position. He's got position. He's also got some wealth. He's walking yes, because him, Esther's in there. For him right. to be hanging okay. out there and people are going, why is that bum hanging out here all the he's time? He's not yeah. a bum. Those yeah, no, people in that. certain positions always hung out by the gates. Yep. They that's, did, because yes. that's where yeah, people of prominence yeah. are. And, and that's where things were handed down. for you. You're available. You're available. Right. Chapter 4, Mordecai informs Esther of the edict. Mm -hmm. how, how did he, how did she notice something was going on? How did he inform her? Was he in well, panic-stricken mode <laughs> informing her? Or? He, he didn't inform her. Her you <laughs> brought her the news. There you go. That was the process. Yes. Good. So, whether they realized Esther was a Jew, which kind of think they would have to because... At this point, don't they think he's a Jew because right. he's put on sackcloth? Mm -hmm. And they know there's a connection. Right. They definitely know the two are connected. So right. now they see him behaving this way. And he's in sackcloth. So I could come up with the question <laughs> of, okay, did they know why he's in sackcloth? Or did they just come to her and tell her, he's greatly distressed out here and you... We need to find out what's going on. And when I looked at the process, she doesn't know why she, she is so. No. She does, but so she know. wants to find out. But yeah. she's grieved, anguished, and because, because her daddy is, is in and such anguish. anguish, and she doesn't know. She wants to make it better, I'm sure, but, but she doesn't know how. That they and don't she realize the shoes. For him to put on. Say again. It's still possible they don't realize. He's a Jew. Okay, so he was written in. So he when the king says, was honored him in chapter six, the king said, "Do so for Mordecai the Jew." Right. Well, that's so he six. knew he was a Jew. That's chapter six. So that's that's not not chapter but the only reason four. he would know that was because the chronicles. When he's reading the chronicles, he got the name. Right. Right. Chapter six, but not chapter four. Not yeah, no, we're, yeah. we're in four. Right. You're two but it was written early. down that it was that he was a Jew five years ago. But he didn't know that. He didn't know it. The king didn't know it. He didn't. He didn't read it. He didn't read it. It was just recorded. But his wife was saying because of him. But he didn't. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there's, That's there's a little bit That's of opinion. how much does everybody know at this point? Right. There is. There is. But Do again, where's God? Father and daughter, though, or cousin and cousin? But not. I don't know if she Uncle. would have said that or not. God doesn't tell us that. Yeah. Um, in there. Because of the tell? love for one another, I would think that her maids and stuff would know. Would know. That's what I don't I'm know thinking. that the king would know or Haman would know. Right. Um, I don't think Haman. I don't think Haman had a clue no, I don't think that there was any right. connection there. Right. Oh, yeah. Even if they didn't know or with... didn't know, they all had yeah, favor with her. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And what a, what a comment. If I perish, I perish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because she gets the whole picture now. She does. Yeah. And now she understands her position of why God has put her in that position for such a time as this. So do I step up to the plate or do I save my own life? Don't let anybody know I'm a Jew and I go on living in the palace. But then Daddy said that if you don't step you, up, yeah, somebody right. will. And do you yeah. think that you and your family will, will be here? Yeah. Right? So. Right? So she's And she does what Daddy yeah. she does. Yeah. Um, where's God? Right there. <laughs> So, yes. Well, why do you put fasting? Why do you fast? Why do you put sackcloth and ashes on? To seek an answer to yourself? No. 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 Because we looked, that's right, because we've looked up the heritage of where does sackcloth, ashes, fasting come from? Right. And we saw all that history, so we know they're seeking God, though it doesn't say that. We know that that's what they're doing, mm -hmm. because that's why it was done. Um, I hope that's helping you in the homework that you had. As you went, okay, day four and five, I'm supposed to do 
I'm supposed to do what? I'm supposed to find God in chapter 1 through 7. Attach a verse if one comes to mind, if the Lord reveals one to mind, or just put down, I see God working sovereignly this way. Okay? So let's go on into chapter 5. Um, what's the theme for this one? <clears throat> I guess there's and it puts five and six. And that's what I did. Five and six. It could be first and second for the king, but it's really five and six in a number of banquets. Yeah, but it's yeah. also Esther's plan. I said Esther plans two banquets. Oh, and then Haman that's good too. Haman builds gallows. And got, yeah, I love the Haman builds gallows because yeah, yeah, they're not quite what he thinks they're going to be for. Okay. Um, that came about on the third day that Esther put on her royal robe, robes. Third day of what? Well, that would be after the fasting. Good. Okay. She's done fasting. Now she gets up, kind of like David did when he was fasting for his son, that God said, no, he's going to die. That's the way it is. His son dies. He gets up. Fast is over because he got an answer. Right. So why does she put on her royal robes? She's, she's going got to be present. She's present got an answer. The answer. Right. Okay. The same. She's Mordecai came and gave her the answer. She has an answer and a plan. She puts on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace in front of the king's rooms, and the king was sitting on his royal throne in the room, throne room opposite the entrance to the palace. It, he just <laughs> happens to be there at this time. You're describing the palace to me. Why? I'm like, whoa. <laughs> detail, 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 yeah. you know? When the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court, she obtained favor in his sight, and the king extended to Esther the golden scepter, which was in his hand, so Esther came near, and touched the top of the scepter. Then the king said to her, what is troubling you, Queen Esther? Why do you think she looked troubled? Why does he think she's troubled? Because it's all over her face. It's all over her face, <laughs> right? Okay. And the, and the fact that she came there without him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's huge. Yeah. Something must yeah. be He up. knew Something's she's up. risking her life, because right. you don't do that. And he, she hasn't been with him for how long now? 33 days. 30 30 33 days now, right? And look how he responds, though. It's not how he's been responding in the past. And not at he all. He responds with love instead exactly. of in pride. Which okay. all the months before it was pride. He would have just like, what are you doing in my presence? It was Almost very like, prideful. Oh, yeah, you're here. I like you. Right? I, 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 I like you. Why do I have waited so long? Why do I so long? Why do I have so long? Why do I have so long? So when you met, you found favor. Did you go back and go, oh, I've marked that before, okay? So you found it in 2.9, first of all, with the eunuch, right, that was putting all her stuff together, hey guy, in the eyes of all who saw her, all, okay? Favor, and then you said kindness. Yes. Well, he found favor and kindness with the king. She, she found favor more than all the virgins, okay? And now... She finds favor in the king's sight, and that actually meant Unnext. life for her. Yeah. 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 So this actually took on a bigger so meaning of found favor. Now it's like this is a life and death. This is a life and death situation, and she has and found place. favor again. I wonder what she expected him to say. I mean, you're going in knowing that he could just say off with your head. And she I wonder. This, I don't think that was anywhere near. I mean, at least ask. You know, what are you doing here? Not what is it you need. <clears throat> I mean, well, remember she had a plan. She, she had an answer already? now, and now she has a plan, and she's kind of confident, but she knows, if I perish, I perish. This, this is the way it is. She already planned out exactly what she was going to say. <clears throat> Absolutely. She, but she was very smart because she didn't just go to him. She put herself where he could see her and remember. <laughs> Yeah, right? Okay. It sounds like what she happened? was far away because it said it, she was in the opposite of the entrance yeah. of the palace. Right. Like, it doesn't right. sound like she's in a well, crowd. She can't approach him closely unless he tells her to come. Mm -hmm. Right. What'd you say? Do you think she's aware that she finds favor in all who see her? I think she's, she's so, so humble. She's, she's so, so sweet and humble. Yeah, I don't think she expects it. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. so humble. But. To me, it's like a movie scene. You know, his eyes get really big, and the, the heart's all around her, all the graphics. Esther's you know. here. Well, yeah, kind of like, you know, going off that as like if she's finding favor, she's walking, and people are just like, oh, I love her, but she, is she aware that they just don't talk about her? For me, that was like they don't talk bad about her. They don't yeah. find anything. Right. Um, Maybe he's so used to that. Because he has been in her life. That's just been the way she's always, been. Yeah. Right, right. She gets along. It's just a natural character for her. Right, yeah. right. Um, remember that when it said, what's, what is troubling you, Queen Esther, and what is your request, even to 
half the kingdom it shall be given to you. Because you have been inducted, you didn't just read half the kingdom, you read 127 provinces from India to Ethiopia. Right. And the map that. came up, in your up, head. Up to that. Well, yeah. Even oh. the half the kingdom makes her equal to him then. Yeah, that's yes. that's, that's right. Right. Yeah. And I thought that too. That's that, an equal portion of his. Yeah. yeah. But no more. But Did this put found exactly, favor but a little bit higher? Mm -hmm. Big time. I'm like, Love, yeah. respect, trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what she did to deserve all that, but wow. He really loved her, He probably. really did. He did love her. God gave him that. That's it. There's God again in Esther chapter 5, okay? <coughs> Esther said, if it pleases the king, may the king and Haman come this day to the banquet that I have prepared for him. So, it's not I will. Mm -hmm. It's like it's ready. Yes, it's ready. Come let's, go. let's go. Okay? Then the king said, bring Haman quickly. This is all so funny because it's like get this go here. We're going. <laughs> yeah. Going now. That we may do as Esther desires. So the king and Haman came to the banquet which Esther had prepared. As they drank their wine at the banquet, the king said to Esther, What is your petition? For it shall be granted to you, and what is your request? And he repeats it again. Mm -hmm. Even to the half of the kingdom it shall be done. Well it's in front of Haman. Now yeah. oh, good yeah. point. So he knows. Go get Haman, because he's not <clears throat> there when this happens. Doesn't Haman want the half of the kingdom? Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Well, now it's being offered to a woman. Yeah, we'll come back to it. That's yeah. a good start. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> okay. I have a question. What's the difference between a petition and a request? I wondered that myself. That was not a rabbit I chased. Anybody chase that? No. I didn't yeah. chase it, but I did notice that when she responded, it was with the exact same words, and the petition was for her people, and her request was for herself. For her. Right. And I noticed that, right. too. Yeah. Self and okay. the, It seemed like petitions more important request to secondary is kind of how I read it. Like, first, please give me right. my life, and then if you please do, please also give these people their life. And that could be, I, I'd have to look up the words to know yeah. why they yeah. used two different she words. Okay? She wants to present yeah. herself first oh, because the king makes a tie. Yeah. her yeah. to her mm -hmm. people. Right. Yeah. So if she puts herself at value. If he says yes restaurant. to me, he's more likely right. to say yes. yes. But you already said I have half, half the kings. Half I want Judah. Well, wow. and he didn't care about the people when he was removed from them. But now that it's become personal to him, he cares. Yeah. Think about this. Yeah. What if she had accepted that? Would she have been able to save half the people the that were in that half? No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> because his edict was cannot be changed. Yeah. Right. She'd still be over it, but she can't change the edict because the rules of the Persians cannot be altered, cannot be changed. Right. That's the way it is. So yeah. that wouldn't have solved the problem, though she would have gotten very huge recognition as a woman in Persia. Okay, verse 7. <clears throat> Uh, Esther replied, my petition and my request is, if I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and do what I request, may the king and Haman come to the banquet which I will prepare for them, and tomorrow I will do as the king says. So I mean, that everybody is waiting. Nobody is acting in this Who came point? up with this plan? God. 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 <laughs> and gave it to Esther because she was fasting and praying. Right. Okay. Um, she's no longer fasting, remember, because this is the end of the three days, and it never says she put on sackcloth and ashes. Right. It never says that. It just says she was fasting That's and praying. Right. And yes. she was asking the other people to do the same thing. Okay? But God provided that plan for her. Okay? Did she exhibit wisdom and humility? Yes. yes. Where did that come from? I think that came from a lot of her training with Mordecai. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Okay? Her upbringing which God sovereignly ordained for her to be raised right. by Mordecai, even though she was an orphan. She had to be trained for this position because God sovereignly knew this is where she's going to end up. Even okay? the eunuch gave her so advice on how to, yes. yeah. how to present herself, how to operate with the king. What she should take with her, she take. her first presentation to the king. And she listened to it. Okay, um, She used her beauty and status for good. She didn't display them like Vashti was asked to do. Mm -hmm. That's a totally different yeah. verb, display. Mm -hmm. But she did use her wisdom and beauty for good. Okay? <laughs> All right, Haman, 
went out that day glad and pleased the part, but, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, never fully satisfied. <laughs> oh. When Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate and that he did not stand up or tremble before him, Haman was filled with anger against Mordecai. This man is a thorn in my side. But think how long he didn't notice Mordecai not bowing down. I, I know, That's until they me. caught him. Until anybody really? said anything. He never even noticed. <laughs> now that somebody said something, this is like the top priority right? of his life. <laughs> uh, but Haman controls himself. Wasn't the to be careful. And he went to his house and sent for his friends mm -hmm. and his wife, yes. Zeresh. What's the purpose of calling his friends and his wife? What, what's what do you need them there for? Got to brag some. He's got to brag, and he's got to build himself up now oh, yeah. because Mordecai has crushed him down. Because he won't. Misery Makes me feel better. Watch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, his self worth in other people and not in. And his things. Mm -hmm. And his things. That's mm -hmm. what his self worth is. Right. And what other people think of him mm -hmm. is definitely maybe a character quality as you're listing the characters in your study. Mordecai gets his worth from just who he is. Haman gets his worth from what other people think he is. And the king's the one he has. And the king's very much. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's got to have the beauty and the splendor. Um, yeah, he's back at the king's gate. So if Mordecai's back at the king's gate, is he in sackcloth and ashes? Yes. He cannot. He cannot be. He cannot be in sackcloth and ashes. He's Three got days to be. Up. Three days are up. I think he okay. put the royal, not the royal, but when he got the answer from Esther, then. That's it. We're good. Yeah. That's it. But Haman's glad heart turns to anger once again. So that's another character quality mm -hmm. of yeah. Haman. He has a hot temper. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's I'm up and down. I'm mad. Yes. Yeah. Mad. So true. It's how anger eats at you, though. It does all of us. When you have hate in your heart, it? You, oh, can't, yeah. you can't focus on anything else. That's One right. little thing, and even the greatest day is completely ruined. <clears throat> then Haman recounted to them the glory of his riches, which is exactly what the Hazarus did right? Before all the people. Right. Um, so he goes home, builds himself up before his wife and friends by displaying his greatness and his glory, just like King Ahasuerus did. So what kind of plane is he putting himself on? Royal. Just even with the king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did Esther just get truly put on? A throne. Same level Same as level. the king. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't given to him. King himself, yeah. So he yeah, has to go put himself up. <laughs> Uh, Haman also said, even Esther the queen, let no one but me come with the king to the banquet which she had prepared. And tomorrow also I am invited by her with the king. Yet all of this does not satisfy me every time I see Mordecai the Jew sitting at the king's gate. Then Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends said to him, so whose idea is the gallows? His wife's. wife's. His buds. So he Woman. is around people that are like him. Mm -hmm. I just noticed something. Okay. So he says here every time I see Mordecai the Jew. The Jew. But then exactly. later he said when he said when they say, Oh, if he's a Jew, there's no way you can win against him. But they know he's a Jew here because he just Jew. said it. So, I don't know. I think that if is like a sense. If and since are interchangeable. But they were so encouraging him and telling him to build the gallows here, where later they say, Oh, he's a Jew, you're done for, you can't. They, they know that the Esther is Jew. What happens? Yeah. You're not going to be able to defeat him. He will yeah. defeat you. But this is their, still their suggestion. Yes. Again, this is not wise. This is this them responding to his complaint. Well, let me make you feel better. Why don't you build a gallows so you can hang Mordecai on it? And it made it feel better. Yeah, right. That's true. Yeah. So yeah. what he told you about big man? I'm a big man, and it's not yeah. only yeah. six suggestions. <laughs> it's only not <laughs> little. It's <laughs> seventy-five it's feet high. Why don't you build a shotgun? <laughs> like somebody. Yeah, seventy-five right. foot yeah. tall. Um, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Seventy-five <laughs> feet high, and in the morning, ask the king yeah. to have Mordecai hang on it. Then go joyfully with the king to the banquet. <laughs> And the advice of these Haman, so he had the gallows made. Well, that's pretty fast to have 75 so foot gallows made. Mike, say again. Yes, it must have had some really good carpenters that worked all night. Yeah, really. Well, well look uh, where he is. He can command however many people that's true. to do whatever he wants. I kind of wondered if, it seems like the gallows get used rather frequently. Do they just put them up and then take them down? And they have all the pieces part and it's like, I think they're still there. They were pros. <laughs> I think they're still there. They My do in the westerns. <laughs> My commentary <laughs> says that the hanging wasn't like uh, hanging with the rope, but you know, a spear with that. Yeah, yeah. He was with um, the what? He was with um, the a spike. 
a spike. spike. Yeah. yeah. That's that that time, like they impaled him. Impaled. Yeah. It was like a spike. Yeah. They so he hang like so he'd hang you know. up there on a seventy-five foot thing that everyone could see. Yeah. Right. They'd spike right. him and then hang him up. The yeah. higher it was, the more people that could, could see, see it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it was excruciating. Oh yeah. To be impaled. Um, but he's only one Jew. Mm -hmm. Still he built him. Okay, still built him. Um, his hatred for the Jews was extreme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But do we know why? Yes. Yes. We know the history, the history right? From yeah. Agagites to Amalekites, we know the history. Okay, but remember there were already gallows <laughs> because Bigthan and Tish, <coughs> the two, we know they're eunuchs by chapter six, yeah. That we're trying to kill the king, so gallows have been built before, but not 75 feet. And these are at his house, so I mean, you go out his front door every day and go, I'm so satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. This is another character quality. The good things in Haman's life were reduced because of his hatred. Mm -hmm. He had lots of good things, oh my goodness. but he couldn't see them because he had such hate in his heart. Isn't that typical? Typical, yes. Now, so God is in here, God has came and build, build gallows, and that's a good thing? It's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing. It will be they're in place. Yeah. Not for what you think, but they're in place for what I'm going to use them for. I was going to tell why do a second banquet? Why didn't Esther ask the first time? Because she had his, his approval and favor then, that's but not God's it, plan. Wouldn't, it wouldn't have gotten Haman. That's that right. it's not God's plan. And yeah. she probably was, I was thinking, <laughs> putting myself in her place, um, she, did, she knew to go this far. And, and I'm still that. waiting for a signal, right? Yeah. So let's have a second signal. But there, but there is an is. anticipation yeah. of having to wait, mm -hmm. and yes. there could be We're more of a favor right. if you do wait, right. because she's executed patience. Yes. God didn't give her peace to do that yet, right? Right. That well, wasn't His plan. Obviously, that wasn't His plan. That's nice. not what she did. And Haman built gallows, so I guess there wasn't any gallows. No, so thank gallows they already yeah. built. Do you right. see God's so sovereignty in that? Yes. Okay? Yeah. No gallows were built for Mordecai, which were for Haman. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's God's sovereignty again, right. yeah. that this has to happen before the second banquet. Yes. But Esther oh, doesn't know that, but God does. Timing, yeah. timing, right. timing, timing, timing. timing. Um, yeah, Haman built gallows that he will use to exact his judgment on evil Haman. Okay, Romans twelve nineteen came into vengeance's mind. I will repay. Another one was when God said, "Stand back and watch me fight for you." He, he did fight for Israel. Even in Genesis, so, God says, "Those who curse you." And there you go. That's oh, another one. That's oh, another good you. one to bring up. Okay. You know? The chapter that I thought covered all of this was Jeremiah 29. You know, we always use 29 11. Yeah. We do. Yeah. But if you put that in context, that was the promise when they went into that exile. Was, that's right. Yeah, no, that's right. And they are in exile. Exactly. And the promise has They're not there stopped because of being the exile. Yeah. Good point. So here comes chapter 6. How did you um, theme this one? Mordecai's honor. Mordecai's honor. Good. God. Mordecai's honor. Yeah. God stirs the heart of the king. Yeah, oh, that's nice. yeah, I like that. I put King has Haman honor Mordecai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, take that in there. Haman's <laughs> tables have turned. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Haman's yeah. plan yeah. backfires. That's right. That's a good yeah, one, that's too. That's a good one. Sleepy <laughs> Okay, um, during that night, <laughs> what <laughs> night? <laughs> Sleepless in Susa. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Um, during that night, the king could not sleep. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. So he gave an order great. to bring the book of records. Why? Maybe she served something deliberately that kept him, you know. Lots of caffeine. Right? <laughs> yeah, why didn't he ask for warm milk? But no, he asked for the records. Something to be read. Yeah. yeah. Again, not sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, well read it, has he has to be reminded to talk about it, guys. But it was a are the gallows being built, or do you think they're already built? Oh, they're already built. That's, that's I think history's been boring people forever. Uh, <laughs> so I think they're all the reading history books and falling asleep reading books. There you go. Um, remember, that goes back to uh, chapter 2, verse 23, the Chronicles. We want to remember yes. that's the Chronicles right. that Mordecai has written in. It was found written that Mordecai, what Mordecai had reported concerning Big Thana and Teresh, 
to the king's eunuchs who were doorkeepers and that they had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. The king said, well, what honor or dignity, he wasn't asleep, he was paying attention, mm -hmm. has been bestowed on Mordecai for this. Does he know that Haman hates Mordecai? No. No, he doesn't. No. I don't even think he knows who Mordecai is. No. Then the king's servants who attended him said, well, nothing has been done for him. So the king said, who is in the court? Why would somebody be in the court? I know. <laughs> who just so happens to be in the court? I, when he I can't must sleep. Be, I figured it must, it must have been about 5.36 o'clock. Yeah, what I'm is like, he doing there? Yeah. <laughs> well, Haman has just entered the outer court of the king's palace in order to... Yeah. Why do they even know he's there in order to speak to the king who's supposed to be sleeping? He, I don't know. I mean, I mean, somebody to watch that door. Always. Open. Right. Yeah. Yeah. About a uh, hanging. He's here to talk to you about hanging Mordecai on the gallows which he has prepared for him. But they don't tell the king that. No, no. no. That's not in quotes. <clears throat> that's not what they say. But somebody well, That's what he's there for later. to tell that's, him. That's, that's just the reason there, but they there. don't say that to the king. <clears throat> but they know it. I think it's Isn't interesting. Isn't that weird that they know that? Knows it. Yeah. No, I don't, I'm not saying the king knows it, but they know it. Well, and you know that they're going to hear. I mean, he, he left that's his true. house. Oh, he was so excited. He was going to a banquet. Mordecai was going to hang. He was, he was, he cut. Well, he could have bragged. To, he he uh, could have. I'm sure he did. Hey, we know his we character, right? We have a big event coming up. And right? he couldn't wait to get there, there in the morning. And he couldn't wait to get there in the morning. That's why he's in the king's court. I wrote down the servants know everything. You watch all those lines. <laughs> down the Abbey. Yeah, down the Abbey. That's what I was thinking. We're like the servants. They, they talk and they hear and they see right? everything. So they know if you want anything, yeah. you go to the servants. Yeah, yeah. That's so true. <laughs> but all they say is that, oh, Haman is in the court. Yeah, so let him come in. The king says, okay, so let him come in. So Haman came in. And he didn't tell him he, what he wanted to do, right? right. The king proceeds it. What's to be done for the man whom the king desires to honor? And Haman oh, said to himself, oh, well. <laughs> Whom would the king desire to honor more than me? What I want to do. Then Haman said to the king, For the man whom the king desires to honor, let them bring a royal robe which the king has worn, and the horse on which the king is ridden, and on whose head a royal crown has been placed. So it's all previously been used by the king. Right. So the people will know this is yeah. the king's stuff. Yeah. That the robe and the horse be handed over to one of the king's most noble princes. <laughs> so the king is thinking that's somebody under him. Right. right? Mm -hmm. And let them array the man whom the king desires to honor and lead him on horseback through the city square. I just wanted to see familiar faces. <laughs> Without a mask on. Okay? I go into the store and say, I recognize those eyes. <laughs> are you who you think you are? Okay, great to see you guys. Good to see you. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we start a sermon series on Acts this Sunday. Do you really? Yeah, I saw your, your text. So, yeah, oh, wow. I mean, the, the birth of the church, the rebirth of the church, right? <laughs> right. And so, how appropriate right now? How yeah, I mean, yeah. it really is. And uh, persecution, we're going to face persecution. There's right? so many parallels. That mm -hmm. It's a little have. crazy. So, Perfect. All right, good to see you. I, I, because we're going into Acts, did everybody get the email that I sent? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Our pastor's preaching. I'm sorry, one last now. thing. <laughs> yeah. We're opening this weekend. Yes. Oh, so, good. very limited. Which means you have to go on the website after 2 o'clock and make your reservation because you have to have a reservation to come. And uh, I'll a golden ticket. You can't do it yet. <laughs> and by the way, you always have a reservation. Me um, and yeah. <laughs> But uh, the e news will go out at 2 o'clock. It has links on that. And we've got to make sure we, you know, we keep our... We do the distance. Yeah, we're going to have 125, when here at Lakeside, and then 30 at Four Corners of East Square Garden. Oh, awesome. Thank awesome. you. I, because we're going into Acts in the fall, um, I was asking him, I, I would like to do on my own, and maybe you would too, a course on church history. There are some out there, but I don't want to, you know, some, obviously Liberty has one online. I have no idea how much of that is. But it's not free. But I would like to do one of the free ones, but some of the yeah. free ones I'm sure I need to stay away from. So I was asking his advice on where do you steer me in the right direction yes. so I don't go to some place I shouldn't go. Yeah. So that's what he was referring. As you <clears throat> So anyway. That sounds familiar. What church are you preaching on? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so he led him on horseback through the city square and proclaimed before him, Thus it shall be done to the man whom the king desires to honor. You gotta think, he's yeah. thought about this. Like, if somebody asked me how I would honor somebody, I'd be like, uh, well, you know, like, he's like, oh, this is, you know, he's been dreaming about this. This has been, like, you know. Uh, Isn't that it's the it's truth? Yeah. That's another character quality. It's his wish yeah. list. It's his wish list. Yeah. He's, he's, he's had these dreams. He well, knows exactly Isn't that funny? Because I, I want to put that on my character list for him and I've already had a plan of how to honor himself by the king. <laughs> if I were he <laughs> right now. Yeah. Right? Wow, who has that in their head? Then the king said to Haman, Take quickly the robes of the horse, as you have said, and do so for Mordecai the Jew, who is sitting at the king's gate. Do not fall short in anything of all that you have said. Did Haman's face kind of drop down? Right, and is this, is this just a clap? I mean, we, we know because we're reading it. But is this just classic? It's just, it's like, Lord, you're going to do what? With who? Haman says, step back. This is what I have in my arsenal. Exactly. God says, well, this is what I have in my arsenal. Right. <laughs> it's not the just way you think it's going to happen. I like that he says Mordecai the Jew. Yes. Like, how often they yeah. say Mordecai the Persian? Mordecai the, you know, like, right? the fact that he threw Mordecai the Jew. Praise right? God. Yeah. That was in the cross. Extra, extra. Yeah. Yeah. Which is how coming he was Good. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, that was a God's sovereignty. Here comes Haman wanting to hang Mordecai, and instead, he has to honor Mordecai in the manner he thought he wanted to frame him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He so has this be. big pride for man is now humbled the only way only way God can yeah. humble people. Yeah. So my mind went straight to the verse in Proverbs 25. Do not put yourself forward in the king's presence or stand exactly. in the place of the great, for it is better to be told come up here than to be put lower in the presence of noble what you what your eyes have seen. I Proverbs love that. 25, yeah. seven, uh, 6 and 7. Proverbs 25? 6 and, and seven. 7. Yep. I mean, that, that's exactly where my mind went. It was, you is know, that not appropriate? Uh, he's he's lifting himself up in the, in the presence of the king and the king's going where is the other way? Mordecai and Esther aren't, and the king is lifting them up himself. But the king is doing it honestly. Yeah. And so that's what God Yeah, he has no motive. Honest truth, because God is in control, and not the king, and not him. Right? And it did not pride go with before a fall? Ooh, that, yeah. that, that comes Proverbs to my mind 20, as well. Thank you. Okay, so um, Mordecai returns to the king's gate. Right after he's been all honored, he goes right back mm -hmm. to his job. Yeah. Humbly. Right. Like, another character quality for Mordecai. But Haman hurried home mourning with his head covered. <laughs> with his head covered. Wow. Defeat. Right. No one, see me. No, no one can see my no, face because I'm crying or... No, he was so... D humiliated by so having to humiliated. lead that horse yes. through the yeah. <clears throat> city. I love the how they didn't ask the question about the difference between this you and the morning of uh, Mordecai. Mm. Because the Mordecai morning was repentant. It was the ash cloth, <laughs> I'm nothing but ashes, repentant. This is a morning of self-humiliation, but it's a prideful oh. morning. It's a, it's a I deserve prideful better than this. This isn't what I deserve. Okay. A very prideful, not turning to God. Who do you think him. saw him do that, that had advised him to build the gallows <laughs> or the guy he's now yeah. Yeah. Okay. his friends, wife and wife, they're seeing what he's had to do. Yes. Well, they're Even more humiliating. They're confused too. It's like, what just right? happened? This is not what we thought we were going into. Well, the gallows weren't built. Good. The um, with his head covered. Okay. Haman recounted to Zuresh, his wife, and all his friends everything that had happened to him. Mm -hmm. Then his wise men, now they're called wise men, and Zeresh, his wife, said to him, If Mordecai, before whom you have begun to fall, mm -hmm. that's good, yeah. is of Jewish origin, and again, I think the if is like a sense, you will not overcome him, but will surely fall before him. But these are the same people that last chapter said, Hey, he's a Jew, but put him on the gallows. Mm -hmm. How quickly they, you will not be able him. to, to <laughs> nope. fulfill your plan of hanging him. Because the king has just had you to honor him. Now, why do you think, right. though, that they can make this prediction? Because history of the Jews. Because of the 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 <clears throat> history that's been brought down about God's people mm -hmm. cannot be annihilated. Right. 
cannot and be overcome okay. to where there's no more left. Okay. And it's seen God over and over again save his people. And this is the second um, kingdom that's ruled over them. Yes. What, where, did, where did Babylon go? Yeah, Babylon's mm -hmm. gone. They were defeated by this kingdom. Yeah. But they're supposed to be ruling over the Jewish people, and that didn't quite happen. Yeah. Now they got conquered. <coughs> now the Persians, yeah. right? Yeah. And the Medes are ruling over these people that the Babylonians were supposed to have total rule over, yeah. and the Babylonians got defeated. So now here comes Persia. Well, they know their history, but yeah. nations know the history yes. of Israel and how Israel has been yeah. protected, protected, protected. And they know that in their saying, if he's a Jew, it's not going to happen. I think they well, also just saw it because they were I, giving opposite advice, and now they just saw it, and they're seeing the God intervention here. They're going, wait, we it. just killed gallows, <laughs> and then we just saw him honored. Like, that's got to be a God. By, by you. Uh, that's it. By they, you who hate him so much, yeah. except. Now you have to honor him. Yeah. So whether we acknowledge that God is in this book or not, oh they goodness. did. Yeah, yeah. But, they did. and the thing is, and we're proof positive of it, we do not learn from our own history until we get slapped in the face with it. <laughs> That's true. So <laughs> they kind of knew it, but you know, look, look at these people, they're not so, yeah, wipe them out. And there's oh, a no, you're not gonna be able to wipe them out, remember? And there's an edict. <laughs> <laughs> but does everybody know about the edict? Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, because the city of Susa was in confusion. Yeah. Well, so everybody right. knows what's supposed to happen to the Jew, but Mordecai the Jew is now being yeah, honored by this guy honored. that's, you know, been promoted by the king. So I'm not yeah. the city. They all want to wait, but he's being mm -hmm. wait. It didn't there what? Because they don't necessarily know that Haman, Haman was the one that wrote the edict. They, no, they, they, they don't know what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Right. You know, it's like, yeah. um, but we're supposed Who's to be on that guy. <laughs> But now the king's honoring him with robes and stuff on his horse, on a crown that the yeah. king has worn, but we're supposed to, still supposed to kill that guy. And he's announcing, this is what the king... Right. Yeah. <laughs> he saved my, my life. I want to <laughs> honor him. It's like, but we're supposed to kill him. Yeah. So, so, and all his people. Amen. So your opportunity yeah. to hang, hang Mordecai just went by the way. It side. really did. Because yes. the king is not going to say, yeah, go ahead and hang you. I just honored him. Yeah, yeah have at it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, why would this prince say that? Um, I, you answered it. Verse 14, while they were still talking with him, mm -hmm. the king's eunuchs arrived and again, yeah, hastily well. bring Haman, <laughs> right, to the banquet which Esther has prepared. So this is banquet number two. 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 Okay? So he is excited about this banquet. He, he is. happy about going to this one. He's, they he's hastily brought him there, but he's excited to yeah, go. And he's, but he's just gone home with his face covered yeah, because he's in mourning. And now he has to put on a happy face and go to yeah. the banquet with only him and the king. Yeah, yeah, many guys are going to need to wash my face. <laughs> Big time. He probably uh, dreads going. Uh, uh, I that's what I'm thinking. Clothes. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he dreads going. I don't, right. but because it's such an honor, maybe that's going to lift him up again because yeah. I am the only other one invited to this. Yeah. So. Yeah. He's got and Mordecai is it so? I you think he really dreads going. I don't know. I'm, I'm not, not sure. confused about how he might feel. And I think he's confused about how he would feel because he's just been humiliated. Yeah. Right. And yet now he's being exalted because right. he right. gets to go to the bank. Well, the well, king doesn't know he was said. humiliated. The king doesn't know that he was against the king. Mordecai. Doesn't know. The king has no clue. Yeah, he he right. probably right. feels obligated to go. It's also yeah. 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 He's still getting an ego boost. Yeah. By just, the king. Yeah, by just going to be in the king's presence and Queen Esther's presence. And yeah, Mordecai is not fast. Do you think that his wife and his friends are just tired of seeing him yeah. complain, so they were just like, we'll just build gallows and kill him? Because then it comes back with saying, like, you knew you weren't going to do this because he's a Jew. I think because of who Haman was, right next to the king, they want to still be in his good graces. Yeah, so you just say whatever makes him happy. That's what I'm thinking. Is like this no, is gonna make it happen. There. <laughs> but then that's she true. goes. Then reality hits her. Yeah. Yeah. It's like good question. So why do you say different? Well, why do Job's friends say what they said to him? Mm -hmm. Again, First this is God, not godly yeah. wisdom. This is just human wisdom that this seemed wise at this time and now this seems wise to say well and it's our human perspective don't we have a proverb about asking for advice from people right <laughs> and what kind of people we need to ask advice from okay yeah. do you see god in this oh, yeah. yes. again i read to the oh, psalms and speak this from the verse. lord and his sovereignty directed what was read to the king wow wow um when you look at psalm Four eight. It says, "In peace, I will both lie down and sleep, 
For you alone, O Lord, make me to dwell in safety. <coughs> he, didn't, he didn't give that to the king. He made him, at that certain time, at that certain night, to have that certain chronicle read in his presence while Haman was in the court. So, I wonder if Esther knows any of this went on. I, I think oh. later she did, but I don't think right now she does. I think when this story was told to her about Haman and the king, because she's found favor in his eyes, and he loves her, so they're going to be talking. I think she learns it, but I don't think she learns it now. I don't, I don't think she knows anything of that happened now. Mm-hmm. Well, it's only been like 24 hours. Exactly, yeah. and she's preparing the banquet. That's what her yeah. business is. Yeah. Her maids and servants could have told her, though. Mm-hmm. They could have. Because they, mm-hmm. they it was publicly announced through the city, right? <laughs> right? And well, it is Mordecai, and he is connected with Esther. So it would give like, her a good bit of, like, okay, we got this. Right? Like, God's in this, you know? Like, <laughs> I did hear him right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, right? Haman just had to lead Mordecai around on a horse, so. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't, I cannot imagine. Who's the other laugh so hard? <laughs> good question. You don't know? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Uh, tradition says that Esther and Mordecai wrote Esther, but we don't sovereignly know that. So that's why it's not recorded. Mm-hmm. What do you have for a, a theme for chapter 7? Amen. <laughs> right? <laughs> I said enemy removed. Oh, I love that because he is the enemy yes. in the yeah. of the Jews. Yeah. Enemy removed. Amen. Good. Amen. Jews are safe from annihilation. Mm-hmm. No, they're not. Not yeah. yet. They're not. Yeah. It's just God's exactly. justice yeah. over. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Like, you know, I read the end of this chapter, and I'm like, but there's still a major problem. <laughs> I mean, the foe and the enemies killed, but man, that edict is getting ready to be executed. Yeah. Yeah. I have that the request was made. That's what okay. I have too. Request was made. Um, again, and Haman, Haman is revealed and yeah. hung. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. We want to know that the, you know, what's that in the story? The antagonist? Mm-hmm. In the story, it's taken care of. The villain. <laughs> the villain. But we, we still have a problem. Equation. Still yes. have a major problem. Yeah. Okay, verse 1. Now the king and Haman came to drink wine with Esther the queen. And the king said to Esther on the second day, also as they drank their wine at the banquet, What is your petition, Queen Esther? It shall be granted to you. And what is your request? Again, even to half of the kingdom, it shall be done. He means it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That has never changed with him. Then Queen Esther replied, If I have found favor in your sight, O king, and if it pleases the king, has she changed her response? No. Same thing. Mm-hmm. She keeps saying that. But now she says, Let my life be given me as my petition and my people as my request. Who has she just identified herself with? Jews. Secrets out. But- just well, no, she has just, just the right. people, her people, the particular people. Yeah, right. Does <laughs> the king know which particular people? Okay. Will he? Not yet. Not yet. When she uses these words, for we have been sold, Maybe I yes. and my people, to be destroyed, to be killed, mm-hmm. and to be yeah, annihilated. Yeah. Do you think he puts it together then? That's so I think he yeah, goes. The 10,000 talents, the bribery. Right? Yeah. Okay. Same words that were used. Now, if we'd only been sold as slaves, men and women, I would have remained silent, for the trouble would not be commensurate with the annoyance to the king. In other words, I wouldn't bother with you. But we've been slaves before, we'll be yeah. slaves again. We're slaves now. We're in exile. However, killed, destroyed, and annihilated. Those are the exact mm-hmm. words of the edict. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Then King Ahasuerus asked Queen mm-hmm. Esther, Who is he and where is he who would presume to do thus? So maybe he doesn't know. Well, he didn't sign the edict. No, he either wrote it, it and Haman. it out without him, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, because he, he says who would do this, so he would know it was Haman if he had put the two together. At this right? Point. But the king is a, he's a smart man. He knows what's going on in his kingdom. And I'm thinking, it's my only opinion, things are starting to go in his head. This is an edict gone out for a certain people that don't really need to be in my kingdom because they don't follow my rules. Wait a minute. These people are Esther's people. Who's now that? these people yeah. are Esther's people. And they're supposed to be killed, destroyed, and annihilated. Well, that's what the edict said for the Jews. Does that mean she's a Jew? He's a smart guy. Yeah. He's king. He didn't get there just... He's starting to put, he's he's starting starting to put it together. To together here. And Esther said... 
Well, I don't really want to say who it is because you really like him. <laughs> <laughs> you just identify his characteristics. If right. you notice, there's an exclamation mark at the end of this sentence. The boldness oh, is this woman. Wicked. I'm not hesitant. <laughs> Not a bit. At the same time, she's been biting her tongue through the whole thing. She's been serving him, right? and knowing that he's trying to kill her people. I mean, that takes a lot of strength. It does, doesn't it? I would have been, been like cringy. Self control, knowing right. that this guy is going to want to kill me. It's finally yeah. coming. Yeah. The benefits. <laughs> Here it is. The benefits of fasting. Yes. yes. Knowing without a doubt that your this body is, the plan. is your trust in him, mm -hmm. and let's just go do it. Right. Right. Yeah. Um. A foe and an enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman became terrified before the king and queen that Haman now knows is. Okay, he was in mourning before when he had to honor Mordecai. Yeah. Put yourself in Haman's position now. He's emotional wreck. Emotional wreck. This is another Jew. It's another Jew. I can't get away from them. They want to hurt me. They want to kill me. They hate me. I hate them just as much as that. I they hate me. And she okay? was just offered half the kingdom. <laughs> right. Yeah. She them. begs for the life of her people, but she doesn't say the Jews. Mm -hmm. Again, wisdom mm -hmm. with the words that she says. Why don't you just say, "Yeah, Haman's trying to kill the Jews and they're my people." She doesn't say that. She's very wise in in the words that she selects. God selects for her. Yes, exactly. and she uses the very words of the oh, edict. Spirit. Okay. Yes. Brilliant. This is like a lawyer giving mm -hmm. up. Yeah. You know, uh, pleading a case. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're like, brilliant. I'm repeating your exact words. Right. Part of it's she's letting the king partly figure it out himself too. Which, which is brilliant. I had bosses yeah. that were actually horrible, and if it wasn't their idea, they wouldn't do it. So you had to like word your words to get them to like. Well, what about if we, and you, make, you lead them on so they come up with the idea. That's she is not telling him a secret he doesn't know, but she, right. he should know. He, she's letting him figure it out, Discover. and he's the king, and he's still in honor. She's still honoring him. Exactly. Letting him figure it out, knowing he's a smart guy. He's going to know what it is. But then he asks her, who is it? Is this wicked Haman? Because he doesn't know it's Haman. Now he does. Okay? Ooh. So he's identified now for who he truly is. Again, I hope that's on your you know, character quality. He is an enemy, he's foe, and he's wicked. 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 Okay? And the king believed her without any doubt. Totally. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's huge. That's so, huge. What, that what, so what does the king do? He gets off his head. No. He no. went outside to process. In his anger, he goes, yeah. he goes away. To the whole right? Book, yes. Which whole is book. different. That's or very he's, different. He's just reacted in his anger. Right. Exactly. Right. And he's been angry before. He's not seeking an, an advisor. He also, he's yes. not seeking an advisor. He also goes outside. And right. What should I do? Okay. Well, think about it. This was his top cool advisor. Off. So he's just lost faith in all of his advisors. He's cooling yeah, off. Like, yeah. He's going outside to almost cool off before he opens his mouth or, I mean, kills him himself. That, that could yeah. happen to him. <laughs> That's so he's terrified again. Haman is terrified before the king, because now he knows, and the queen. But the queen is a Jew. That's just got to mm -hmm. kill him. <laughs> um, the king arose in his anger from drinking wine and went into the palace garden. But Haman stayed to beg for his life from Queen Esther, for he saw that harm had been determined against him by the king. He even could have run. He saw could have run, but he didn't. Yeah. He knew that he did. He there's did, 127 yeah. provinces to get yeah. through to get out of the That's true. <laughs> they will hunt him all the way through. Okay. The question is, where is he going to run to when there's guards at the door? Yeah. Right? He has to yeah. beg for his life. Absolutely. From a Jew. From a Jew. Picture that. Now, when the king returned from the palace garden into Tiny. the palace or the place where they were drinking wine, I don't know how long that had been. Right. I, I don't know. Right? <laughs> Haman was falling on the couch where Esther was. Now, is he trying to assault her? No. no. What's he doing? Begging for He's her. begging for his life. But the king said, will he even assault the queen with me in the house? So that was his perception of what was happening. Mm -hmm. As the word went out of the king's mouth, Right, they covered Haman's face. Has his head, has face been covered before? Mm -hmm. He did it. Now it's being done for him in a different 
reason. First what does step that of mean execution. to you? First step of execution, cover the head. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, that is the first step? Yeah. Yeah. Then Harbona, one of the eunuchs who were before the king, said, Behold, indeed, the gallows standing at Haman's house, 50 cubits high, which Haman made for Mordecai, who spoke good on behalf of the king. That's the first time the king knows that's what they were for. Don't you think that eunuch loved saying that too? By the way, that's one of the eunuchs from the seven that brought Queen Vashti yes. at the beginning. Interesting. It is. The name's yeah. repeated. That was back in chapter one. Yeah. Yeah. One and seven. At, at one ten. <laughs> one ten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 One ten and eleven. Yep. It's one his of name. Ones. His name means donkey driver. <laughs> oh, that's okay. great. He's one of the original yeah. donkey driver. But can you imagine he's been watching it and probably doesn't like even through all of it and biting his He's been there the whole time, it. right? With Vashti like, yes. and getting yeah. king, you know, the queen, and, and five little, years of her being queen, and been a little fly on the wall. You're right. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Um, so what's the king say? Hang, hang, him, hang him on it. So they hanged Haman on the gallows which he had prepared for Mordecai, and the king's anger subsided. Mm. Okay. Prediction from his wife and his friends mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. came true. Now, do you think that was their own prediction, or do you think God gave that to them? But again, can how can you not see God in these things? He's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's, everywhere. He's, everywhere. He's just but you unless you were asked yeah. to look for it. Okay, let's go back to chapter one. Let me look for <clears throat> God in chapter one. Oh, I see him here, here, here. I mean look for him in two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven. Okay? Yeah. It just jumps out at you. His fingerprints are all over it. All yes. over it. All I feel like it's a female it. version of Joseph. I kept thinking back to Joseph and the story of Joseph. Females, uh, the timing of all, all that. All the timing, mm -hmm. him being promoted, and then right. you get down you <coughs> and promoted, and like how God had his hand through all of it. Right. And then, I mean, saved the Jews and everything from it. Like, I just kept going back to Joseph in a parallel with like the female version. It's amazing, version of isn't it? It's just he, even well, parallels, just, parallels Daniel. I mean, I wrote yeah, both yes. of those now. Yeah. Joseph in Egypt, Daniel with Nebuchadnezzar, Cyrus to want to rebuild Jerusalem. Give me a break. Right? Yeah. Why? Persian king wants you want to rebuild to? a city. Yeah. And why that city? Yeah, exactly. There's plenty of other cities you destroyed. Why that one? Simply because some guy wrote a prophecy. Exactly. A hundred years Over a hundred years before, before, yeah. before that. With his name in it. And put his name in it. Yeah. I love that. And his position. Now, God has placed Esther in her position to fight. She knows that now. She didn't know it the five yes. years of being kicked. Right. She didn't yeah. know any of that until yeah. Mordecai comes to her. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. Okay? She's the only one in the whole kingdom that can go before the king. Now, she could be killed, but nobody can just go before the king. She's already in the palace. She's already found favor with him. And everybody in the palace she has found favor with, her odds are pretty good that he's going to do the scepter. Except she hasn't been before him for 30 days before he asked. So that's a little doubt. Maybe he forgot about me. Maybe I'm not in favor with him anymore. But I'm the only one here that was able to do this at this point in time in this place in history. And Mordecai said, if I don't do it, God's going to find somebody else. So I, I, she had to make a decision. She had to make a decision. She's the only person that had direct access to the king on the planet that could plead for her people. Because as far as we know, she's the only one in the house. You've got to see God in that. Many plans are in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord will stand. So what Haman was determining to happen was not going to happen. I have fun with free will versus predestination <coughs> too. Like Haman had complete free will to do all this on himself, but then yeah. God's hand was also in all of it, all causing of it. it to. There's it was really interesting looking at the balance, and right? The whole thing, right? Um, <clears throat> I look at the things where it says this is where Morde Mordecai didn't really have a plan. He just knew, do this, do this, and we got to seek God. Yes. And he didn't know that that was yeah. Esther's plan that we know of. Isn't that what what we are, are confronted with many times in our seasons, different seasons right. of life? I don't know what else to do. Right. Except I I can do this. Right. I can. And it pray seems so small. Why would God. I just do that small thing? But yeah. 
Yeah, but that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't so, seem like it would affect anything. But Well, it's just like the disciples. Good. When Jesus is gone, what do we do? What do we do? Let's go fishing. We right. know to do that. Right. Right. <laughs> that's, that's what we know how to do. It's also okay. true when the Holy Spirit speaks to you. You listen and you do. Okay. It all started with repentance, yes. too. The, ash cloth and sack, the ashes and sackcloth. Mm -hmm. It started with repentance. The humility yes. and repentance yes. of seeking before the Lord. Um, you have to go to application mm -hmm. because you're, what if, what if I had been Esther? Mm -hmm. Would I have said, if I perish, I perish? Or would God have had to find somebody else? <clears throat> That's an honest question. Mm -hmm. Soul seeking. Yeah. Do I have that? Level of trust in God. Yeah, level of really trust in God. Times. Right. And literally take my life in my hands and go, mm -hmm. I know what happens if that scepter does not come out. I get dead. But I gotta do it. Okay. And if she didn't, she's gonna die anyway because exactly. she's a daddy yeah. said that he said that I'm gonna die. So she's not gonna escape. Yeah. So and is the king gonna be mad that I'm a Jew? And he doesn't know is it uh, have I been deceiving him? Does he feel like I've been deceiving him? Because I haven't been deceiving him, but I know I'm just obeying Mordecai, my dad. And Mordecai's trust in the covenant of God saying, Man. my people will not be destroyed. That's it. Period. The faith mm -hmm. in that covenant okay. it takes me back to Abraham when he takes Isaac up on the mountain. Mm -hmm. Well, the Lord would prepare a, a, a sacrifice and we <coughs> will come back to you. But you've just been told to ask, sacrifice Isaac on the altar. Uh-huh. But he's the son of promise and we're going to come back to you. We, me and this boy. I think it goes all the way back though. I mean, like God doesn't throw us in one huge faith leap. It's a, I mean, her parents dying at the beginning, I feel like that was a big faith thing. Like there's been things in her life building yeah. up. Yeah. So where, I mean, the fact she got taken yeah. into the king's harem and she didn't fight and she acted it's in a way true. she had gained state favor instead of being upset or whatever else. He's like, taking her on a journey faith thing trust. all the way through. It's yeah. all the way through her life, not just one big decision. Nor yeah. can Mordecai try to hide her. You know, when the word gets out, because can you imagine? Or so she's my only daughter. daughter. Right. You know, households that right. were having the the their daughters taken from them yeah. and never no to be seen again in their home. That's so true. Because they're taken to the king, they're taken for good. They're taken. They don't come back. That is his yeah. faith. I think what was in favor of Mordecai <clears throat> with that is that they would both be at, around the palace because he's already in the king's gate. Yeah. So but she the could, God so already see that for him. Exactly. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Yeah. So he could still see it. Yeah. 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 So what do I do when I think God doesn't know what's going on? Or a specific <laughs> situation. Because, you know, he could possibly be letting this go on. Think about what was you going just on. Said. It not be happening. <laughs> Don't you think that? Yeah. Don't you sometimes think that? Do you realize how crazy this is getting? Like I said last week, though, I think it goes to repentance, too. That what, that's what hit me last week so hard, is when things happen, my first thought is other things, or not personal repentance, where they first went to the ash cloth and, and the sack cloth and ashes. Personal. I don't go, yeah, they went to personal <clears throat> repentance, and that's not where I go. If anything, I go, oh, well, our country's so simple. You know? right. like if it, it might be go to <laughs> sin at all, that's where I go. You know, medical or country's right. so simple, not like a personal it repentance. Can, it can work in a different way as well, in thinking you're always the problem. That's it's true. my fault. That's true. Yeah. What did I do? How come? And it's and a lot of times it isn't you. Mm -hmm. It's just the situation that's there that people are reacting to. And maybe you're the brunt of it. That's possible. But for me not to consider it is it could be my could fault. Be I'm in trouble just by making that statement. Right. right? So Lord, if it is my fault, show me show what me. I need to repent from. Yes. Well, even with this one, prideful, pride's what hit me with this one. Because oh, I noticed yeah. that I was being so prideful because I saw all these other people acting like idiots with the virus. So then I'm going, well, I'm better than those people. And then that convicted me that, yeah, whether this is because of my personal sin or not, I do have sin in this too, and I can't judge other people while I have the whole spectrum. That whole thing of, of, of putting mm -hmm. others before yourself, mm -hmm. honoring people, mm -hmm. thinking of others more highly than you do yourself. Okay, do I think it's funny that people wear a mask inside their car? I do. That's really funny. Because I don't know what they're protecting themselves from inside their car. <laughs> Unless there's somebody else with them, because I actually saw oh, really? a vehicle last week, and I was like, why is he wearing... You know what? There's somebody next he's, to him. He's working with that guy. They're not necessarily related. Right? Yeah. Oh, and we can always look out into it, and we go, 
that's just so dumb. But let's, again, give credence to other people's fear because fear really runs this whole thing. I feel like and why don't we live in fear? Why aren't we as Christians living fearfully? We better not be. We, we better not be. We better not be living in our homes, staying in our homes out of fear. Okay? Right. Now, if, again, you're older, you're compromised, you're keeping yourself well. Duh. But don't live in fear. Don't exude fear, especially to your neighbors, especially mm-hmm. to your neighbors that are alone. Mm-hmm. I feel like this alone. pandemic really like brought out, showed, magnified all of our sins. The people, mm-hmm. you yeah. saw whether you're putting your faith in medicine or your faith in mm-hmm. safety or because, I mean, God doesn't say we're supposed to be safe, like, right? Or whether, I mean, the pride, mine was a pride thing more than anything. I didn't have the fear, but I had the pride, which is just mm-hmm. as bad as the fear. Or, I mean, it's just, it, everybody's yeah. sins got magnified with how they reacted to it. And it was really interesting. Mm-hmm. There was the Pharisaical people that were putting other rules on top of people, getting mad at anybody that was out in public at all. Yeah. And, yeah. like, it was, it was interesting seeing, you know, other, even Christians and good Christians, you know, that they, they were even noticing their own sins and how the sins got magnified more than usual. True. I, I just hope in your neighborhood mm-hmm. you are ministering to those people that you know. Now you're brand new in your neighborhood, but what a great way to know your neighbor. Well, we have the corner lot with an open fence, so we, right. a lot of people take walks and, and go by. Yeah, it's and Riddick are a big talking point. <laughs> <laughs> as they should be. What a what a what great time for we <laughs> as Christians to be able to minister to our neighbors to go just to say are you okay because now you've got a reason to say mm-hmm. are you okay They're i'm just going to bring you this do you need anything are. i'm going to go to the grocery store yeah. if you don't need to go to the grocery store and you're afraid can i pick you up something can i do this are you sure wow hopefully they'll ask you why would you want to do that oh well because i think that's what jesus would do now they automatically know you're a christian and you're not acting like you're afraid. There's, it's just different. It's just different. So we have a platform. I'm looking at it anyway as a platform to go, you know, I don't remember your name. Tell me your name again. You just moved in or whatever. And I, okay, do you need anything? Are you okay? Or do you have any compromised immune system? Can I help you with? This is, this is just like a wide open door. It is is what I look at it as, as like, man, go, go to the block all the way down there, and the block there, and go, are you okay, you know, because they know, Ron and I, you know, have been on the block for 35 years almost, <laughs> so we may be the people that have been on the block the longest, and people, you know, see people come in and out and in and out, so it's just cool. We've got um, a neighbor I've never been able to, like, I've tried ringing the doorbell. They could have just delivered to us once. So I was like, yes, they'll talk to me this there time. There we and go. still wouldn't answer the doorbell. I've never, like, I say I'm out walking, and I try to say hi, and they walk by without saying anything. Very, I don't know what, to, I don't know, I don't know what it is with them. But I've never been able to make a cut. So I, we bought, I was at the store the like first or second week of the shutdown and everything. And I walked by the flowers. I was like, you know, flowers are really cheerful. I've never been a flower person. I was like, maybe I'll just grab some. So I grabbed a few different things of bouquets of flowers and just went door to door. And they weren't, they didn't answer as usual. So I just laid it on the front door of the flowers. Mm-hmm. I went walking to the next house. I see the door open. They came running out thanking me. And now every time I pass them, they talk to me. Isn't that, they, I mean, we've lived here two years. So, and I've never had a word out of them. So who put that idea in your house. head? Just delivering flowers to the house. See what I different. mean? See, who put that idea in your head? You're not a flower person. Why no. did you pick up flowers? I, I was walking by them on the way out. I hate flowers. It's not like, you know, this is not one of my kind of things. So it's totally like, yeah. To me, it's comical. When I look back and go, oh, God, I would never have come up with that. But that was really good. That was, I would have never thought about. Very, very good idea. That was great. Because, again, he knows where they are. He knows what's going to get to them. Do I panic? and try to fix things myself, or is my first, first response to run to him? I want that to be my first response instead of, okay, I can do this, 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 and then, no, wait, wait, wait. What does God want me to do in this, this, and this? Instead of, I don't want to bother with him, then that's too small. Um, Can I look back and see how he has been faithful in my life and find peace and comfort in knowing he's not silent? He's very present in my time of need, but maybe not on my timetable. Mm-hmm. Usually, not on my timetable, which is really annoying because I like it to be this, 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 and we're done. And that's not how he operates. I don't, I don't know why. 
But his plan it always seems to be better than mine, and mine is just never on his timetable. So obviously I'm the one that needs to change. And I'm the one that needs to step back and go, okay, that's not check, 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 check. We're going to check and now we're going to wait. Now we have to wait to see what he puts in there. Things go a lot smoother that way. <laughs> I can't say I always do that. Okay, Judy? That might be a good idea if we're chron chronicling events in our lives. So we can it's read awesome. it when we can't sleep, look back and go, oh yes, he is faithful. He yes. did take care of me through that. Because um, I, I have a hard time remembering. You know. Right? So we need to write yes. them down. <laughs> chronicling is a good, a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Um, I know he's done things for me, but what were they? <laughs> Marguerite, this was it, right? This was the one? Yeah. yeah. Um, this was a really good article, um, just kind of summarizing the book of Esther. But I didn't read 8, 9, and 10, because I don't know the end of the story yet, so I, I read can't it. read that yet. Um, it was in the Zion's Fire yep. magazine. Right. It and has the issues down at the bottom? Yes, January, February 2019. <coughs> So it was just good, but how he said the Persia conspiracy. A wicked man, a young Jewish maiden, and the roots of an ancient holiday. So I was like, I just love the title. That was just really, yeah. that's the book of Esther. And David Ettinger is with Zion's Hope, but he is a Messianic Jew himself. So. I did not know that. Yes. No wonder. Yes. Okay, next week is our last week. What? I know, that we break for the summer. Um, I think I had September 10th, I think, is when we will start back in the book of Acts, Lord willing. Um, let me make sure that's the date. It is an eight-week study, so that's why we can start on 7th. No, where did I put it? September 14th? <coughs> that's a Monday. The 10th is a Thursday. I think that's what I... I think that's what September I said. September 10th. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ending November 12th. Yes, with a week break for fall, fall break. Yeah. Um, are we sure there's going to be a fall break? No. I don't know. But we, all, we will break. We always kind of need that fall break after we go so hard. And Axe, I'm telling you, Axe is going to be a tough one. And eight yeah. weeks only? All, well, only that's the first part. The okay. second part is another eight weeks. Okay. So. Acts is, again, Acts is the Acts of the Apostles. It's the beginning of the church. So many things happen in that book that never happen any place else ever again. I, I have more questions in that book than I had answers. So I can't wait to delve in. But again, I kind of wanted to get a church history um, book, course, something during the summer to read, to know Nero, Diocletian, or whatever his name was, and and he comes into power, and, and the church is persecuted, and then it isn't, and then it's the law that you have to be a Christian in order to own land, and, and all this stuff that's going on and on. Where does that fit well, in the book that. of Acts? I don't, I don't know, but I would like to do that for my own benefit during the summer. You know, not meet as a class, but even there's online courses that you can do that lead you to church history. I thought Hillsdale would. Liberty University obviously has one, but... I don't have that one much. Hillsdale's it's free, about. isn't it? Hillsdale's always free, but they don't have one on church history. I looked that up. I know. Did you have something fun? Good. Larry? In our life group, we've been studying Romans. And having been in precepts and a former history teacher, we always hope, you know, we look at what the background is and what's going on and all these kind of things. So Paul is writing in Romans about submit to government authority. Yeah. Guess who the government authority was in Rome at that time? Nero. Nero. Yeah. Who burned Christians mm -hmm. to light the way. Excuse me, Paul. Are, night. Mm -hmm. are you sure? You know, look. That's it. That's the kind of things I want to go. So wait, now is that during the church and the Acts? And the, are they being persecuted or is this good? And why? Boy, are we going to have maps because we have missionary journeys? And we're going to, it's like, I, I can't wait. And yet I'm scared to death. Well, Paul is in a situation at that time, if I perish, I perish. That's it. I'm yeah. going to obey the law. Yes. Yeah. Tonight's game. Not just if I perish, I perish. He's yeah, saying yeah, tonight's game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, exactly. He's going to run the race, though. He says, He's I'm here to stop. do what I need to do, but when God calls me home, I'm happy to get home. I'm going. Yeah. I know I'm done. With All right. We're going to get like five minutes, and then we'll start the DVD. Okay. Mom, check Palm Beach Atlantic in southeastern.